there! Welcome back to Clark's Cozy Corner and I'm your buddy, Miss Clark. Well friends, I absolutely love seeing you. You know I don't take it for granted. And well, you already know what time it is. It's time for... <laughs> Look who's in the corner. Today's shout outs go to my buddies, Emma and Isabella from Liberty, Ohio. Hi girls! Thank you so, 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 so much for watching, and I'm so happy that you're a part of the Clark's Cozy Corner family. You two are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. <laughs> okay, friends, I am super excited because a lot of you start school in a couple days. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> you sure look like it. So I have to know, I have to ask, what grades are you going into? You're going into kindergarten? You are absolutely going to love kindergarten. Kindergarten is such a magical grade. You're going to love it. Just you watch. Okay, what about you? What grade are you going into? First grade? <laughs> yes! Okay, listen here. I'm not trying to sound biased or anything, but I teach first grade. First grade is the best grade. No offense to the other grades. <laughs> You're going to love it. Let me know how you like it. All right, what about you, buddy? What grade are you going into? Fourth grade? Whoa. Buddy, do you realize you're almost in middle school? <laughs> I am so proud of you. Well, I hope you love it too. Okay, buddy, what about you? What grade are you going into? You're nervous? It's okay. Do you want to talk about it? I'm here if you need me. You're going to be learning virtually, okay? And you're doing all remote learning? You're sad about it? I can understand that. What, what are you sad about? What makes you sad knowing that you're doing virtual learning? You're worried about not being with your friends. And you, sweetie? You think it might be a little difficult? Look, I think I can understand. I don't know if you know this, buddy, but this year I will be teaching my first graders all virtually. That means I'm going to be teaching them by way of the computer. So I understand. You know, maybe right now you feel unsure and you're a little overwhelmed. You might even feel like you're going to be isolated from all your other friends or that remote learning is nothing like regular school. Well, you know what? I can assure you that your teachers are doing everything they can to give you a sense of normality. And what I mean by that is they're doing everything they can to make you feel included, comfortable, safe, valued, and loved, and making sure that you feel like you're a part of the school community. Okay, I still see you shaking your head. So you know what? Just in case you still feel overwhelmed, I think I have the perfect read aloud just for you. Boys and girls, Today's read aloud for today is none other than <laughs> A Little Spot Learns Online. So if you are feeling overwhelmed and uneasy about being online, or maybe one of your friends, why don't you join me for today's story, okay? <laughs> and bring a friend. All right, come on. A Little Spot Learns Online, a story about virtual classroom expectations, written and illustrated by Diane Alber, narrated by Miss Clark. Okay, boys and girls, let's get ready to go on adventure as we learn about online learning. Hi, my name is Spot. I hear you're going to start learning online, and I'm here to help. That's great! Learning online is new for us, so any tips would be helpful. Absolutely! Learning virtually or online is like learning at school, but it just feels a little different. Instead of learning in a physical classroom at school, you will be learning on a computer in a virtual classroom at home. You will still see your teacher and all the kids in your class, and they will be able to see you too. Isn't that exciting, boys and girls, to know that you can still see your teacher and your friends? So you definitely don't want to be in your pajamas. Joining a virtual class is like going to school, so you should wear something comfortable and appropriate. This will help you get your mind ready to learn and help you stay on schedule too. Eat before you join your class online. You don't want a grumbling stomach when you're trying to learn 
eating while you're in virtual classroom can be a distraction, not only to you, but to your teacher and your classmates too. Don't worry, your teacher will have scheduled snack breaks. Yes, boys and girls, I don't know about you, but sometimes you get super, super hungry during class, so you definitely want to take care of that before you join. Be organized and prepared. You should avoid getting up and leaving your classroom session. Having a water bottle nearby is a great idea in case you get thirsty. Make sure you have the school supplies that your teacher recommends and close reach as well. And the biggest thing of all, don't forget to go potty before you join your virtual class. Find a good place to sit. You might want to sit on the floor or the couch, but this can get uncomfortable. When you are uncomfortable, you move around a lot. Try sitting on a chair. This will help you stay upright and focused. If you don't have a desk chair, a dining room chair works too. Boys and girls, I know plenty of students who learn from their dining room, and that's okay. Find a spot that works just for you. Create a quiet space. A place with few distractions can make learning easier. And look behind you. Teachers and students can see what is in the background of your computer camera. So make sure that it is appropriate too. Do you see boys and girls? It recommends that you turn off the TV and music. And do you see what's behind him? He's on a unicycle and there's a magician. That could get very distracting. Now look around you. Make sure all your toys are put away, all the food is out of reach, and any pets are in another room. These are great tips, boys and girls. Anything that can limit distractions is the best way to go. Always try to be on time. When you're on time, it shows respect for your teacher and that you are responsible. Sometimes there can be technical problems, so always try to join a virtual class five minutes early. This way, an adult can make sure your computer is fully charged, your camera works, and your microphone is muted. And boys and girls, this could very well happen. Sometimes when there's a lot of students all at once, it could cause technical problems, but make sure you arrive five minutes early. Now you are ready to learn. You will be able to learn the best when your eyes are watching, ears are listening, mouth is quiet, back is upright and not slouching, and hands are relaxed. When you have something to say, make sure you raise your hand and wait your turn. Also, be sure your microphone is turned on so your teacher and classmates can hear you. I don't know about you, boys and girls, but there's sometimes that I'm talking and I forget that I'm muted. <laughs> or there's sometimes that I forget that my microphone isn't on mute when it should be. Wow, you both are working so hard. I hope I've helped make this experience a little easier. I can't wait to see how much you learn and how much fun you have with online learning. Oh, boys and girls, I thought this was an excellent book. I don't know about you, but I definitely feel a lot more comfortable about going into online learning. Hey, I'm back. Boys and girls, what did you think of this read aloud? Do you feel a little bit more comfortable about learning online? You do? Well, that's fantastic. Okay, you already know I have to ask. What are some things that you learned about from the book? What did you learn about online learning? <laughs> yes, you will still be learning. The only difference is, instead of being in a physical classroom, you're gonna be on a computer learning from a virtual classroom. And you'll still be able to see your favorite teacher. And they'll still be able to see you. So it's okay. Cheer up. Okay, what about you? What else did you learn about online learning? Yes, dressing appropriately. You don't want to show up to your class without wearing a top. 
Come on, that's going to be distracting for your friends. You know what? You want to act like you're going to a physical classroom, but you want to dress appropriately and you still want to dress comfortable. I'm not saying you have to be in a suit and tie to learn, but did you know that when you are dressed for the day, you're dressing up your mind as well, and that might help you stay focused. So good tip. Okay, so what's another one? What's another tip to prepare yourself for virtual learning? Yes, eating before you go to class. Look, I know how tempted it might be to have a box of Cocoa Puffs next to you, but just imagine if your mic was accidentally unmuted and everyone's just hearing you crunch and crunch and chew. That can be distracting too. So make sure you eat before you go to class because you definitely don't want your stomach growling. Okay, good tip. All right, what about you, buddy? What's another tip from the book? <laughs> Absolutely, staying organized and prepared. Have what you need before you go to class. So if you know that your teacher gave you certain materials for that lesson, why don't you already have them ready to the side of you? So that way, when your teacher asks, all you have to do is reach right next to you. And you know what? It would be a good idea, as the book mentioned, have that water bottle next to you. That's okay. And guess what? It's even better to keep going back and forth from the fountain because it's right there next to you. It's like having your own personal fountain right next to you. Great tip. What's another tip? What else could we do to prepare for online learning? <laughs> Absolutely, going to the bathroom before class. Can you imagine doing the potty dance during class? But don't worry, if you have to go to the bathroom during class, just let your teacher know. It's not like they're gonna make you sit in front of that computer for hours and hours and hours without taking a bathroom break. <laughs> Good tip. Okay, what's another tip? What else can we do to prepare for virtual learning? Absolutely, finding the perfect spot just for you for learning. It's kind of like the three little bears. You don't want to sit in a chair that's too hard, and maybe you don't want to sit in a chair that's just too soft. You want to find that seat that is just right, just right for you. And you also definitely want to be comfortable. So no, I don't recommend you being in class from your bed because you might fall asleep. Can you imagine the teacher going over sounds and all of a sudden you're saying, A, the sound of A is A. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> so definitely make sure you find a spot that is just right for you and maybe with proper lighting. Okay. Perfect. What's another tip? What else can help us? What should we keep in mind when we're doing virtual and online learning? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Making sure you find a quiet spot. And you definitely want to look behind you and make sure that you don't have anything that's distracting you or your other learners. I mean, think about it. Can you imagine if you're watching your favorite show on TV and it was still blasting in the background? Or can you imagine the radio on in the background and all we hear is your favorite song and then all your other classmates start dancing to that music in the background? Well, that could be a little distracting, but there's a time and place for everything. So I'm sure that your teacher would probably love to have a dance party with you. Okay, what's another tip? What else should we remember while we're online learning? <laughs> yes, having our pets in another room. That could be helpful. Look, I know you love your pet lizard, and I know you love your pet turtle, and you just told me you got a puppy for your birthday. Well, that's all wonderful, and I know you love them, but because if you were in a physical classroom and you wouldn't bring those pets to school, it wouldn't be a good idea if your pet was just on your lap the whole time. What if it was your turn to speak and all we heard was your dog barking? Or all we heard was your cat meowing? It could get distracting, right? I knew you'd understand. Okay, what is another tip to keep in mind when we're doing online learning? Absolutely, absolutely preparing ourselves with our devices. So whether you are on a laptop, Chromebook, whether you are on an iPad, it's always important to make sure that your computer is fully charged. And you definitely wanna make sure that we're doing all the right things, like muting our mics when it's not our turn to speak, unmuting our mics when it is our turn to speak, 
And when it is our turn to speak, making sure that we speak up because sometimes during virtual learning, our sound can be just a little muffled. Okay, be honest. Do you feel just a little bit more comfortable about online learning? <laughs> you do? Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm so happy to hear that. Look, boys and girls, again, you are not alone. Your teacher will be there every step of the way. They're gonna do everything in their power to make sure that you have a fantastic year. Trust me, and don't you forget, I am here for you. So if you ever have any questions or if I could ever be an assistance to you, just reach out to me. You know where to find me, clarkscozycorner at gmail.com. I'm here for you and, and I wanna make sure that you don't feel isolated. You are still very much a part of school. Your teacher loves you and I love you and I know that you are gonna have one fantastic year. You wait, and I can't wait until you come back to me and say, Miss Clark, it wasn't that bad after all. It actually was fun. I sure hope that's your story. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're in a physical classroom or if you're in a virtual classroom. What matters is that you are learning. <laughs> learning, learning, learning. Let me hear you. What are we gonna be doing whether we're in a physical classroom or a virtual classroom? Learning! <laughs> See, I knew it. You just made a believer out of me. I am rooting for you. I have the utmost confidence in you that you are going to be successful. And this year, you are going to thrive. But not only thrive, you, my friend, are going to soar. So you just get ready, okay? Okay, friends, well, I hope you have the most magnificent first day of school, whether you're in a physical classroom or a virtual classroom. I can't wait to hear all about your day. And you know what? I would absolutely love to hear about how your first day or week went. You should draw me a picture or write some sentences and send them to Clark's Cozy Corner at gmail.com. There it is below. You know where to find me. I would love to see, again, whether you're in a physical classroom or virtual classroom, I'd love to know how the experience went for you. And if you want to add a little Spot Learns Online by Diane Albler to your personal library, all you have to do is check out the description below, click on the link, and the book can be added to your cart and come in a couple days. All right, friends, speaking of online learning, I might want to check my computer to make sure my battery life is okay for when I teach. Let's see here. I'm at 5%. I better go charge. Okay, friends, well, I hope you have the most wonderful, remarkable, extraordinary day today. And do something to make someone smile today. And in return, I hope they do the same for you. Okay, friends, have a blessed day. Don't forget to smile. See ya. Hey, it's Miss Clark here. I'm so happy you were able to join us for Clark's Cozy Corner today. If you enjoyed yourself, do me a favor. Click that subscription button below and turn on the notification button. Why? Because I always want you to be able to join us and never miss a beat. Okay? When's a good time to do it? Um, right now. I'll wait. Did you do it? I'm waiting. Click and turn on. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you. See? Wasn't that easy. Alrighty, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to smile. Thank <laughs> you.